I yeah. thought about doing, I'd say, but there's this one thing that I don't like about it. Or this, you know, we need, to, we need to get some of those servos. All right, guys. Yes, sir. Can I be in the order, please? Here we go, folks. Once again, being patient, helping me, let me set my stuff up. Um, it's March 6, 2014, at 7 p.m., 5101 Dunley Court. This is a March meeting of the club, and we are now officially called to order. All right. First thing, as you all can see up there, I've got under executive report uh, meeting conduct. And I think that we just need to all take a quick look at our behavior during the meetings. We got a little out of hand last week. The meeting ran a little longer than I would have liked. Um, I promised you guys that we would get these meetings down to an hour or so. I can see it running over to an hour and a half sometimes. But um, there was just a lot of excitement, a lot of crosstalk, and a lot of people interjecting, and then someone else would interject, and then the topic would disintegrate. Um, let's be cognizant of that for the rest of the year. Let's really, let's really try to, to not make it a free-for-all, because you know, it really just ends up, <clears throat> you're wasting your own time. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you guys want to hang out for three hours and chit-chat and stuff, that's one thing. But the meeting, you've got to respect everyone else's time. So uh, that's what I wanted to say about it. I really don't want to go any further with it. I think everyone understands where we're coming from. If you tried to watch uh, last month's meeting on the YouTube, it was tough. Uh, go, go I it. Well, I did. I, did. I had to go back and listen and re-listen, and there was cross-talk going on for five and ten minutes at a time. And the meeting shouldn't have been two hours and 45 minutes. So, all right. Let's move on to our calendar here. Uh, this is what's kind of coming up for the club. We've got a work day coming up on the 15th. We had one on the 1st. We'll um, get a report from Dave when we get to that report. Please think about your calendars. I rescheduled, or we rather rescheduled, Castle Hayne and Arrowhead doubles for 1 p.m. on those days. Uh, the county cleanup. I was told by them that sometime between the 1st and the 15th that they would come out and, and do the skid loader. <coughs> Apparently they came out much earlier than that and ran the skid loader. Um, I guess when we get to that section we'll get a full report on exactly what happened. Um, be cognizant and aware of our two tournaments coming up. I'm sure one is. And then finally we have a 60 day time limit now. We have received the sponsor check from Tim Chapman for his sponsorship, but we still haven't got his graphics yet. We can't do anything until we get his graphics, and then the 60 days start ticking. Uh, but bless his heart, he sent us a $500 check, and he wants to do all 13. So we're, I'm very excited about that. I think that's wonderful. All right, next projects after calendar. These are the things that I did over the month. Posted up the YouTube meeting. Um, Heath requested I put some changes up to the website, or rather the list that I had. I did that for him. I think we've got everything on the list. I think Dave George pitched it a little bit as well. Um, thank you, David. I am getting the posts now whenever okay. they post something. It's, it's very sparse. Yeah. There's really no talk of anything right now. I think they're in a, in a lull. But at least now I'm in contact with them, and I can see what the, what the chatter is. And I brought her specifically for that because okay, good. she does actually live in Battle Park. Good. Well, then we'll, we'll see. We, we'll, we'll get some words from you later on. Okay. Um, Dawn? Yes. No. How's it going? Dawn from the bar. <laughs> um, he right. ordered 18 brand new locks on the same key for us, for Airhead. So when it comes time to do our business over there, it's not going to be a pain in the butt. We'll have to just do some snipping with the old chain cutters or whatever, and then we'll be, we'll be in business. Our from scorecards ordered, paid for, and they are in, and I have them tonight. Um, I will pass those along to somebody on the tournament, the Zay Tournament Committee. Um, hole 15 on the Castle Hayne map. Fixed it uh, graphically and uploaded it to Google Drive uh, for Heath to grab and replace on the website. It's now accurate. Um, let's see, that's done. Airhead scorecard. Done. It's up on Google Drive for access by Heath <laughs> to put on the front of the web page for anyone. Now we can move forward with the scorecard hot dog 
initiative that Jeff Erickson, who's not going to make tonight, is going to do for us. Um, health, that's all done. The updating, of course, records on the website. I have to get to that. That's a that's a little bit of a that's a time thing. I didn't have time to get to it this month. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Dave, for sending me the login information for Bluehost. Those are people that host our website. We have to um, renew that by law every year. I will take care of that. Um, we do have a Dropbox account. What I'd like to do is, for any of you interested, I'd like you to <clears throat> leave your email with me. I've got all that information. Okay. I've got clubs. I've got every every member to close Good. email. Whoever's interested in using the Dropbox account, Dropbox, if you're a photographer or a graphics person and you want to upload stuff for the website, then we'll give you the, let me send you the invite to join Dropbox. That way we can get, actually every time someone joins Dropbox through our invite, we get a little extra. We get another 250 megabytes. So let me know. Um, Google verification explanation for logging into email. Um, with four or five of us logging into the, into the Google email account now, every once in a while it might ask you for some sort of weird security code, like what was your high school you went to or something like that. If that happens where you're trying to log in, just text me or call me. I'm usually right on it, and I'll do, help you get through that if it asks for some specific information or a verification number. So that, that may happen to any of you at any time. Um, safety control results. This is all county stuff. I'm assuming that somebody, I don't know who, <laughs> Fig, did you walk through Castle Hang Park and take a look for us at the safety issues, or was the county guy kind of doing that? I know he went through with the chainsaw. Uh, at the moment, there's no real safety issues. I mean, we. That's what I need to hear. Either everything. Either there's something or there's not. Well, there's a couple of limbs on 12, but we'll get that. There's, there's, a, there's a few that, are, I'm gonna take it that need to be taken care of, but as you know, the county guy got, kind of got carried away with yeah. his chainsaw. So we, uh, you know, I started following him around and, and making sure that if he cut something, it was something that had to be cut. And not just something he could just use his chainsaw on. Okay. And, um, uh, he told me that they're going to bring in a lift and get some of those limbs out. I don't know if they really are or not. Uh, but there's, I know there's one on three that's kind of hanging. There's a good size one on the left hand side of 14 and up high. After, after we set the other day, day, we looked down there and there were, there were two more on 12 that we had missed. So there's some. And, and, and our, there's a lot of them that aren't very big. No. <clears throat> there were also that one on 12 we were talking about. That's a, yeah. Yeah. a widow maker for sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are, Any, anyone I'm, did, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was wondering if anyone in the club as a hunter has a bow. I could really use a bow. That way I could get a line, a fishing line up high enough over the limb, tie a rope onto it, pull it up, and that way we can pull them down. That way we don't have to cut the tree down. So if you know anyone that has a bow or access to a bow, I will treat it with kid gloves. If I break it, I will buy it. I just don't want to have to go out and buy a bow just for this. Um, if you would, between you and Rudy and DG and you, Troy, if there's any widow makers hanging, please let me know what hole they are on where they are so that I can tell the county. Um, so you want, if it's something that we can't take care of, we just identify four. Yeah, I want that list. Yeah, I need so you that. want somebody write it down and give it to me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to take care of that one. Okay. Yeah, the specific hole numbers and, and what, where they are on the hole, please. That, Thank you. Maybe, uh, you said there's one on 17? Uh, 14. 14. 14. On the left hand side of 14. Okay. You want me to just go ahead and put a word up on the email right now? There. So you don't have to write anything down? There you go, Chief. There you go, Chief. Are we sure we want to get right. involved? What's all right, so what's I mean, what, I know what, what we're supposed to do, but there's um, um that guy gonna come out there with three or four of them on twelve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually there's two in one tree, so mm -hmm. I think there is four. Yeah. One that really concerns me is <clears throat> hole number six. The big pine tree and the and the turn there, the key tree. Right. Yeah, that's right. Right. The whole top of that thing's dangling in the branches. Yeah. Yeah. Our problem is though if we 
email the county, tell them about it. This right. cat's going to come out with her and change some of this stuff. Yeah, that, that, that's the reason why I need the bow. If I can get a bow, get something up high enough, <coughs> to get a rope around it and get it pulled down. Can I just say quickly that I, like I, I need to be aware of it as the contact person with the county and the, the representative of our club. I, need, I don't want any surprises to come at me, them saying, did you not see that limb up there? He asked me. Right after the ice storm, well, I do a safety patrol, and that's something we set up a month prior. So that's important. It's it's very important. At the very least, I need to know if we have any problems out there. So please finish that list, and, and you can email it off to me or whatever. That's that will be fine. Okay, so I got hold three and four, six, and hold two. Hold twelve has two and one tree. Hold six, big pine at the key turn. Hole 14, what was, what's going on on 14? It's, uh, what did you say? About oh, maybe I know, a third of the it's way on the left. left. It's on the left, left. I've seen yeah. it right beside yeah. the fairway, up real high. It's right near the entrance where it takes yeah. off to the right. Yeah, I know, that's all that. Check it. Check it. Uh, is that it? Hole 3, 4, 6, and 14? Is there anything else? Anybody? Anybody? It's 104. Uh, Rudy said hole three and four. I, I just I typed it down as he was right as he was saying it, so I'm, I don't know. We'll get up with him when he finishes yeah. this phone call. I'm gonna go ahead and move on here. Um, spoke to the county. Uh, he put the word out. They're gonna do their best to get there by 7:15 or 7:20. Uh, we had asked them for 7 a.m. to open the park, so at least they'll be there before eight. Um, Workday permission. That's sent. That's already been okayed by the county for our first work day that we've already had and the one coming up. We're in good shape. Uh, still waiting on approval on the lost box idea for Troy. Oh, and speaking of that, um, Brant with the CDA and the CDL, one of the guys from CDL actually purchased a lock box, a lost disc box. They were going to put it out of our head and everything fell through with that. So Brant told me he spoke, got it, bought it, said they're just going to give it to us, the club. Okay. So the box is built, already has a pass, get a lock for it. All we got to do is just get permission to put it up. Take a picture of it and send it to me, please. Yeah. Um, figure out where we're going to put that, too. Right up by the uh, kiosk. I don't know, because I don't know yeah. if that's the best idea, because, I mean, that's where the, like, people that don't play disc golf walk right by there. Mm -hmm. like, and that's why, you know, you go to Renaissance, and they're, they're a, their scorecard mailbox is on hole two, just because of that reason. Like so, I mean, just an idea out there, you know, because people that don't play disc golf don't go to hole two or don't go to other holes. Well, it's a locked box. Yeah, yeah it'll be oh, locked. I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I, no, I, you, you, you can't get into it. It's a locked box. The hole is just big enough to slide in, and that's there. it. Okay. Yeah, that's well, we'll try it out. If, if it gets uh, vandalized or something happens, then we'll reassess it. Um, all we can do is try. People will do things uh, out of our control. Um, the, the Google Map um, geo marker that I talked to Heath about a few months ago, uh, it's kind of in the background, but I did find out that it can be accomplished, I believe, through Google Plus. I think now if I go on and fill out our Google Plus um, thing on Google for the New York Discourse Club, it, it may allow us to do that. So I'm, I'll, I'll look more into that over the next month. Okay, that's um, that's it for me. Treasurer, Mr. Jason Good Murphy, you, you've been busy this month. You want to give us a quick report, please? Yep, I'll go over the financials first. In the last month, so starting this month, we had eleven hundred and ninety-two dollars eighty-seven cents. We had the Airhead cash deposit of two eighty, membership of twenty, and then the DGU Azalea Am check for $4,430 for a total revenue of $4,730. <clears throat> we had the Crown Awards order. They're sitting right on the table behind Boz. The Waterford scorecards were ordered. They were $325.70. And we renewed the PDGA Affiliate Club program for $26 for a total expenses of $1,135.23. Uh, no, I messed something up. <laughs> But all those expenses are correct. Okay. All right, none of the deposits from the 
from the uh, membership or anything like that's been involved. How about the cash box? Where are we at the cash boxes? Uh, the cash, yeah, hey, it, the yeah. cash box is at nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Out of the cash box. Yeah, I'm going to get. He was going to use that for the order, but we actually use the card, right? So are yeah, you guys still going to order that stuff? Uh, which did you have some supplies? I did, and I already purchased them. I haven't taken them out of the cash of it yet, though, but I do have the receipts here for it. The total in the cash box right now is $999 and about $2 and some quarters. So it's like right in a grand. Um, there's two purchases. Um, it's just, it was just toner. Um, one for $18.18, one for $22.41, for a total of $39.17. So that's what's well, just, give the receipts now. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got everything right now. Uh, for printing scorecards for the monthlies. Uh, I mean, I've well, been doing we, it for. We can, we can do it. We can do, I mean, I'm telling you guys, we can, we can do it at Kinko's. For no, no, no. I mean, for the monthlies. I, I, yeah. Right, we'll right. Well, well, I mean, I've been printing for two years. <coughs> and I've been buying my own toner, and this, first, this is the first time that I've actually said. So that's the first you know, time? Three? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Four years. How are I've been doing it for four years, and this is the first expense on toner that I have actually reported. Well, what I'm saying is, is that that's cool. Yeah. But for the oh. and all that. Oh, now the is different. I've just five been bucks. Bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. So we got this one. Yeah. So let's get the cash in. box. Uh, uh, did you bring it in tonight to transfer that money over to him? I did not. If you'll be there Saturday. Or I can yeah, I'll be there Saturday. Something. If you'll be there Saturday, yeah. just take it right up. Right right. Let's box. go ahead and do that. We, we're definitely we're cutting checks and snapping nuts over here, so we need money in the bank. Bob's got a question for you real quick. Yes. Uh, are we going to be discussing the Azalea tournament at a, in just a little bit? Yes. We are going to. Okay, because I got some questions for Dave, so, like, some stuff good. about the Azalea yeah. tournament that I want to yeah. ask. And I'll wait until we can conference in minutes. We've bit. got a conference here. We can conference with them. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to do. We're doing good with these eggs, aren't we? We pretty much have got it all about knocked out, I think. But uh, you can uh, get us up today. Is that it, Jason? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good job on all that. Uh, you pretty much handled it as soon as I called you and texted you. And that's wonderful. That Did we want to order the new member discs? I haven't ordered those. I didn't think we wanted to. We have some left, I believe. I think we can afford to, can we not? We can, yeah. We can. Our typical. There's no need to, to buy, in my opinion, there's no need to buy them until after the Azalea. Because how many we've got? We've still got like, what, 12, 13? I've got. Whatever, yeah. There's I've not, got uh, eight out in the truck now. Okay, I like that. Let's wait so, till after the Azalea. Yeah. We've got eight as long as eight people don't join the club. Well, we've got eight minus one. Yeah, it'll be seven, that's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, as long as eight people don't join yeah. at the monthly Saturday, we should. All right, let's move on to membership. Uh, going back to the cash boxes, uh, okay. Kyle, uh, I thought he was going to be here tonight because he's got a wad of cash. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's mostly membership, stuff like that. Like, it's all the stuff from last month. I mean, he had a wad yeah. of cash. Yeah. And so $450. Yeah, so anyway. I actually got a message on Facebook. He usually plays early afternoons. I can try and get up with him. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, he probably had to work. He's got, he's got a bunch of them in there. All right, we're going to move on to Section B, the Membership Committee. And um, Mr. Troy Durham is our Membership Committee Chairman. Uh, fill us in on what's going on with the list real quick, if you would. The member list and the attendance rosters. Okay. Um, last monthly at Arrowhead, we did tremendous. I mean, we had a huge turnout. And so thankful for that. Thank you all everybody that turned out for the tag match and new members. Uh, as per the membership, I'm in the process of creating a spreadsheet for new members information. I will not post your name, your number, your address, your email, anything like that online. I was thinking maybe we post names online so if some, and what tag number you have. So if someone wants to challenge you to a tag match, they can get up with you. That'll be hard to maintain it. No, I don't mind. I can do it. It'll be hard. Uh, well, I'm sorry, what were you saying about posting? Go back to that. Just names and what tag number you have. So if someone wants to challenge you to a tag match, mm -hmm. you see the tag you've got. That's fine. Um, let me just say that that is going to be lower on priority. Uh, so that's just names. You know, mm -hmm. that's just something that you want. current members. Coach. I'm sorry, go ahead and finish your report. Uh, hopefully, I will be done with this spreadsheet 
in the next week. Uh, I've been out sick. I haven't been to work since last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The flu has really got me. So this is probably the first night I've been able to function. So I haven't felt like doing anything. So I'm going to get back on it and get it finished. And I will have it. I will have it for the next meeting. I will have that spreadsheet ready for new mm -hmm. for our membership. Wonderful. Okay. All right, next, Communications Committee. Um, Ari, you are our <laughs> chairman. Um, I know you do a lot of other stuff, but a lot of this communication stuff is actually being handled. Some of the other guys are taking on, like Jeff Erickson and Matt Nimmers are taking on some of these little projects here and there. Um, I handed over Paige Snow, Good Vibe Brew, uh, to Nimmers about a month ago. Uh, to see what he could do with him on getting some stuff going for the tournament. And uh, Matt's not here right now, but he was very gung-ho and immediately went out and got us another sponsor at a, at a local um, establishment here in town. Um, so, do you have a question? No? Okay. Uh, Tim Chapman, our sponsor from New York Press Shop, waiting on his graphics. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the hot dog scorecard thing can now be put into play. Jeff Erickson won't be here uh, tonight, but he uh, is keenly aware of that situation right there. Um, so, we have a new hole sponsor, Tim Chapman on 13, and these are all the holes that we currently have sponsors on. 12 is not, I don't believe, sponsored anymore. Is that correct? There's nobody there. Um, Cape Fear Games, yearly CTPs. You've already taken care of that, Heath, is that right? I need to get some new ones out okay. to Kyle, right? To the TDs. Yeah. To Kyle and to um, yeah. Ari. I think I'm just going to give them a meeting. Yeah, still. <laughs> I'm going to win them anyway. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like that, that's the only thing I win at the monthly. So yeah. <laughs> and officially, Firehouse subs. If anybody makes an ace at any tournament, they are supposed to get a certificate for a free medium sub, and those certificates should be in each one of the TD packs. So just a reminder to the TDs, uh, make sure that we've got that, and if we don't, let me know or let Jeff know, Erickson. Um, our charity sponsorships that we talked about last year we're supposed to be collecting every month. So, you know, January is done. Whatever we collected for ju juvenile diabetes, um, I need to know that number, and then we need to cut a check to them. <coughs> we're doing Wounded Warrior this February, so all TDs, please remember, February's side Sunday. games. It's, it's March. I'm sorry, you're right, March. Wounded Warrior and United Way this March. So whatever we do, when our side games and raise, that money needs to be got to the treasurer. It also needs to be, the information needs to be written down on a list so that it can eventually be put up on the website to show what charity work we're doing. Uh, the community projects. Battle Park is, I'm on their Facebook page so I'm getting feed and we have a guest here tonight. Um, I'd like to give you just a couple minutes, Don, to speak if you want to, since we're right here. Uh, if there's anything you wanted to say to the club, or are you just here to observe and kind of find out what's going on? Well, I'm here to pretty much observe, but at the okay. same time, I want, beyond nothing else, that park to stay natural mm -hmm. as much as possible. I do not want a school there, and... I pretty much do anything, you know, because okay. I live in the community. Last thing I need is kids coming into the community causing havoc. I'd rather see something natural where, you know, it's taken care of. It brings adults into the neighborhood. And basically, there isn't enough wilderness in Wilmington. So, you know, places where you can go and just hang out and enjoy nature. There's nothing. No, there's no law that says it has to be, which is a shame. I know, it's, it's disgusting. So, but I do think with the um, Safe Battle Park website on Facebook, that if that was designed a little differently, that you could see the members that are going to that, it would be more beneficial than just having it where there's so many likes. Because okay. if you do go to someone and say, look, we have this many people who are trying to save Battle Park, 
it's we have this person, we have this person, we have this person. It isn't five people like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I and think that's going to be, be a, 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 a deal for Drew because he did he did that one. Okay. It's well, all in how you start. Yeah, you yeah, start yeah, as a group, too. like the New Hanover Disc Golf Club. That would start you as a group. You can see the members. You see everybody in it. Yeah, see, I see. like being able to see yeah. the members, and then. They also have petition websites, which I'm sure you guys know about, that would be wonderful. You know, just get online petition going around, possibly contacting the news, okay. you know, saying, look, there's, yeah, there's a we want to keep so you're basically, the place natural. So you're, you you're saying there's a consensus in, in the community that they would, like, they would rather do disc golf part than a school oh, or yeah. something else Oh, yeah. From like what that. I've okay. noticed, the few people that I've talked to are all on board with they would rather anything other than a school or houses, <laughs> you know, but they'd rather keep it natural. And we do have a um, Boy Scout troop leader in the community that I think may have been the person who originally suggested Battle Park to be a disc golf course. All right, thank you, Don. I just want to get a general feel for how the um, relatives or the people in the neighborhood feel. I, I don't think anyone has a bad. Uh, thought about disc golf, it's more or less they don't want people moving in and throwing up apartment buildings and schools. Pretty much. <laughs> Understood? We just weren't getting the feedback from online yeah. because I think people just don't, I, I guess not many people yeah. in the neighborhood use Facebook, but well, that's on just, the ground, it's been a much more consensus. Yeah. That's the point. Well, I think the trick to making that whole situation effective is that you really have got to get most of the people in the neighborhood involved with that. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. If you want to make a, a sit, have a civic movement, you don't have to go pick it. You don't have to pick signs. You don't have to go out and muddy wet. You just have to get on Facebook. So we got to kind of work with them and get all them on involved. That would be a big <coughs> portion of I this. I don't even think it has to necessarily be that part. <coughs> I think it can be just Wilmington. Sure. Me, you know, like it doesn't have to just be the community. No, you're right. It doesn't. It should be the whole county. Yeah. But it's, it's actually a big bonus if the people specifically oh, yeah. in that community are strongly for it. Well, it gives us a lot more weight. Our community originally created that page Okay. Right. so that we could keep them from selling that land. And there were a few meetings that people have gone to because that land, everyone voted on it for that money to go to a park. Yeah. And then they just yeah. tried to give the money away. So political maneuvers. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Well, that, that's fine. Thank you, Don. That, I think we're all to speed now. Yeah. I know I am. Uh, other community projects. Uh, Jeff Erickson is, you know, working with Rocksville Beach Elementary about purchasing some baskets. Uh, Troop 19. Paul Rogers. He's the Battle Park uh, Battle Park proponent. I think you were talking about. Um, obviously, he would be an enormous asset to us, especially getting Boy Scouts involved. Uh, the Bat Martin houses, the project that just won't go away. <laughs> I, uh, I still think we're going to get some of these up by the end of the year. Uh, I have asked Thomas Wallace right here, Troop 13, to build us three Martin houses. So we'll see what happens. Uh, anybody in the maintenance committee, you're welcome to throw together a Bat House or a Martin House. No one's going to stop you. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to our website. Keith? I know you've been working, I know you've been trying to catch up and knock a chip away. You want to give us a little quick report of where you're at with some of the more important stuff? Yeah, right now I'm just kind of waiting on Chad, honestly. Um, what, what are you waiting on him for? Set up a database. He's the only one that can do it. Um, I might go ahead and get the guy that's going to program it to just program it with an off-site database and then we can switch once I'm able to get back with Chad. Did you, get, did you get in touch with Chad? I did, yeah, awesome. twice, yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm sure he's the busiest. He is. He and th that's the big thing to ask someone. Hey, it's up with that big fast, you know? So it's not like that. Was he, was he open to the idea? He was, yeah. Good. That's cool. Yeah. So, he's, a um, guy. he's got side work as well as his regular job. Right, sure. yeah. So I, I uh, you know, spoke to uh, two different programmers, and they both said they could do 400. I explained in detail what it was. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I've spoken to y'all about that a little bit, so. Four dollars is a great price, I'm not saying. Yeah. Anybody the club have a problem with that. Yeah. So yeah. the idea is, you know, um, everyone would have a, you know, ID. That way the, the different names and nicknames wouldn't matter. You know, just. I saw that. Yeah. You like a pull down, select this person, here's what they did, and bam, you're done. Well, hold on. So, but, 
So individuals are going to log in and write no. the score? Okay. There would be like an admin and back One person is going to record the scores. Well, there's going to be an admin and multiple people can log into that area of the site who have a password. Okay. So like a uh, password protected page, once you're on that page, you can do whatever you want. Gotcha. So kind of like, you know, the access to, to a Gmail. Add a player. Yeah, add, add players, player, players, delete player. Show up. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. That's cool. Yep. But the average player would be able to just search like themselves or their buddies and see where they placed in the last monthly. No, I don't think it would look basically just like it is now. That's the cheapest way to do it. Because they're going to reuse a lot of the same tables and formatting just right. to save, you know. Yeah, you'll still yeah. be able to go to the scorecard page and look yeah. and see what you Yeah, need. definitely. And, and it would be nice to have an ID, a unique identifier to each person, like the PDJ network. You know, you got yeah. your ID there. That way, if Clay H comes and plays, but mm -hmm. that ain't Clay Hill, then you know, yeah. then you know you, you know. That goes back to this. It's we have a person that's recording scores. So that person that's recording scores is going to be the one that selects Clay Hill or Clay H, which is going back to what I posted on Facebook mm -hmm. to make it easy on Heath because Heath doesn't know all of us. Right. So that's from now on, anybody who signs up. Well. Do first and last name. Mm -hmm. Even me. I don't want to be DG. I'm going to write Dave George on my leaderboard card. Yeah. That way he I knows. Think that's the only way to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got to get away from, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's, but, you know, Alan P. <laughs> or, you know, seriously. Right. No, I mean, be, I totally agree. Yeah, we need I to totally agree. first and last name I mean, on the leaderboard cards. If we're going to use rules like the yeah. PDGA, we might as well do the whole thing. Well, no, what I'm saying, it just makes it easy for somebody. But yeah, exactly. I mean, it was a nightmare for me, and I know almost everybody. And I would still, I ran the same thing I ran into last year. Because I right. just there's just so many people. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have 70 unique people playing in the pro division right. in October, you know yeah. that it's it is very tough for mm -hmm. sure. So. Yeah. Is that pretty much it, Pete? For now, I that's mean that's really right. the big the big thing that's really yeah weighing in on this year is just trying to get that taken care of. And, and thank you for moving that forward. Oh yeah, I'm, um, I'm about it, so. I know she's helping some other guys, but that's really. That's good news. <laughs> yeah, I think I have one more thing. I'm sorry. So, um, Chad did not know the um, the uh, picture viewer thing they have. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't set that up. So I don't know who. Click Syndicate? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, okay. He's the one who took the pictures. Yeah. He probably just forgot. He okay. literally, the, the website is now five years old. Okay. Six years old. Okay. Yeah, I'll ask the only one. Maybe he has forgotten. I mean, unless somebody else, because I don't know anybody. That would have done it. I mean, I certainly don't have the ability. The only other person in the club that would have that ability would be she. She didn't do it. It must have been. They might have been Russell. No, no, this was way after Russell. I mean, but this was the, this was five, six. I mean, that was when. Uh, Russell was way after Russell. Russell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, after Russell. Can you mix the club clip syndicate thing? Or I can get rid of it, sure, yeah. And then you can put your own. Right. And we're not talking about any tough graphics. It's just a cropped picture with some text. Yeah. Is that a. It's like a fan control. Yeah, maybe it's easier to chip clip syndicate, but you know, we can't use it. I guess it's open a new account useless. if I have to. And just, you know, that That's way. not a bad idea either. Yeah. If it's easier to use clip syndicate, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, so the rest of this stuff, you know, the list is up on the forum of all the things that, that you're working on, the front page stuff. There's really no need to, to go over these uh, point by point. I think that uh, you've looked at them, a lot of other people have looked at them as well.